This LOS is calculate and interpret the percentage change in a currency relative to another currency. Currency exchange rate calculations. So before we jump in the calculations, I just want to give a quick reminder of the FX quote uh, convention. So if we're looking at the euro, I highlight it in green. The name convention is the euro and the actual ratio in terms of the price currency and the base currency, the US dollar is the price currency and the euro is the base currency. So one euro will buy you how much US dollars. Okay, currency exchange rate calculations. Now we're gonna calculate and see whether a, cur a currency is uh, appreciating or depreciating. So we're gonna start with an example here and let's suppose the exchange rate for the uh, euro, the US dollar over euro, increases from 1.25 to 1.3. So let's just take a second here to slow down and see what that means. Again, we have US dollar over euro and so the base currency is always one, that's easy. We can see we're going from 1.25 to 1.3, okay, over one. So let's just see what's happening here. Uh, in the past, one euro would buy me $1.25 US. Now, uh, one euro is going to buy me $1.30. So I can see, I'm gonna write it down as well if I'm doing any types of, of questions. I'm not gonna do it all in my head. I'm gonna say the euro's appreciating and the US dollar is depreciating, okay? Or another way to look at it, in the past, I could buy one euro for $1.25 US, but now one euro is costing me $1.30 US. So the euro has gotten more expensive, the euro is appreciated, uh, and the US dollar is depreciated. So get that straight, first of all. Then in terms of the calculation, in terms of the, of the appreciation, we're just gonna do the uh, new price uh, divided by the old price minus one. That's just a change. So 1.3 divided by 1.25, and then we're gonna subtract the one and multiply by 100 to get a nice round number. And we can see that we have a currency appreciation of 4%, okay? New price divided by uh, old price, uh, minus one times 100. So you can see that's an appreciation in the euro as I explained uh, here, just working through the steps, okay? Now, when it comes to the depreciation of the US dollar, the calculation is different. And this is the key point to this LOS. You can see that the numerator now is, is uh, and this is pretty easy, we're just gonna use the reciprocal. So we're gonna use the reciprocal of the new price divided by the reciprocal of the old price. So bring up the calculator again, clear it off. One divided by 1.3, that's gonna give me a numerator of 0.76923. And for the denominator, 1 divided by 1.25, that's going to give me a denominator of 0 0.8, okay? So then, we're going to just finish that off, 0.76923 divided by 0.8, and we'll subtract the 1, and multiply by 100 just to get a nice round number. And we can see that the depreciation was negative 3.84625. So don't forget to see that negative sign in there, negative 3.85, uh, you know, if you're gonna say uh, closest to. So note that the US dollar depreciation is not the same in percentage terms as the Euro appreciation. This will always be true. It is simply a matter of arithmetic. So we'll just do two quick practice questions to finish this LOS. The first one, over the past month, the Swiss franc has depreciated 12% against pound sterling. How much has the pound sterling appreciated against the Swiss franc? A, 12%, B, less than 12%, or C, more than 12%. Okay, that question is phrased a little bit differently, and that's why it's important to do as many uh, practice problems as possible. So C is correct. The appreciation of the sterling against the Swiss franc is simply the inverse of the 12% depreciation of the Swiss franc against the sterling. So how do we do that? It's one divided by one minus 0 0.2 minus one uh, equals one divided by 0 0.88 minus one equals uh, 0.1364. So let's just bring up the calculator on that. So it's easy if you see 12%. So it's just one minus 12%, don't even need the calculator. So it's one divided by 
eight eight, okay, minus one, and uh, times one hundred to get the nice round number, and you can see it's thirteen point six three. So C is correct. It's more than twelve percent. Another uh, practice question, and this is key because as you can see again, it's phrased a different way, and that's why the secret to success is to do as many practice problems as possible because you'll see that uh, you basically understand a concept, but the way that the question is presented to you is different, okay? So in this case, an exchange rate between two currencies has increased to 1.45. If the base currency has appreciated by 8% against the price currency, the initial exchange rate between the two currencies was closest to A, 1.334, B, 1.3426, or C, 1.566. Okay, this is a nice question to end on because we can see, um, you know, we understand the concept, but it's being phrased to us uh, a little bit differently and, and the calculation is a little bit different, okay? So I always say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And when I've seen something once, I probably won't get it uh, wrong the second time, maybe the second time, but not the third. And then also when I see a question like this, I can also kind of change it in my mind and see how could this question be changed so that it's similar but a little bit different, okay? So let's just think about this. We have the price between two currencies has increased to 1.45, okay? So let's call that T1. And back here we have T0. It has increased to 1.45. So the initial exchange rate between the two currencies, 1.56, no, that's uh, automatically C is, is gonna be wrong, okay? And so remember, it's the price to the base is how we calculate always. So we have 1.45, over one is the uh, new price over the base currency. And what we need to do is we need to figure out uh, what the original price was, okay? And we know that it has increased 8%. So all we're gonna do is how do we do the calculation? We do old price over new price, uh, minus one times 100, and that's gonna give us our, uh, you know, our percentage change, correct, in whole numbers. So again, we're just gonna solve for X. So we're gonna do our new price, 1.45 over our old price, okay? And that's gonna equal 1.08. If I just take a little bit of a shortcut. So uh, 1.08x is gonna equal 1.45. So x is gonna equal 1.45 divided by 1.08. And if I just bring up the calculator then, just give me a second. So here we go, uh, 1.45. Uh, divided by 1.08, and that's going to be uh, 1.342593, and that's closest to B. All right, so A is wrong. So B is correct. The percentage appreciation of the base currency can be calculated by dividing the appreciated exchange rate by the initial exchange rate. In this case, the unknown is the initial, so this is classic CFA, uh, you know, three. Um, there's three variables, given two, calculate the third. And so the initial exchange rate is the value of X that satisfies the formula, 1.45 over X equals 1.08. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.